Ice Materials, it's Lucas from Crunchyroll. Welcome to this channel which helps you to develop your algorithmic training strategies and increase your profit. Today, I will show you a Bollinger Band strategy to train the string retracement. Let's get started. In this video, we will study a Bollinger Band strategy applied to the crypto market, which will allow us to have a return over drawdown ratio equal to 41. First, we will explain what Bollinger Bonds are. The Bollinger Bonds are a very useful tool to create trading strategy. To create them, it's very simple. You need to take the end previous close price. We will compute the moving average on the end previous close price and the moving standard deviation. In our case, we will use a window of 20 hours. To compute the Bollinger Band, then, we need to use the moving average. And to have the lower Bollinger Band, this one, we will subtract two times the standard deviation or three times the standard deviation. In our case, I have chosen to use 2.5 and to create the upper Bollinger Band is exactly the same thing. That means that we take the moving average and we add 2.5 the standard deviation on the same period. Once we have our trading indicator, the Bollinger Band, we need to create a trading strategy. To create this trading strategy, I have chosen to use the Bollinger Band to trade the swing retracement. It means that when a candle will go away the Bollinger Bond area, I will open a trade. For the long position, I want that the price falls below the lower Bollinger Bond. And I want that this candle okay, opens into the Bollinger Bond area and close out the Bollinger Bond area. And then, if I have this, I will take a long position because I want to trade the swing retracement. And I have chosen to use a risk reward ratio equal to 3.33 because I have chosen to take a stop loss equal to 0.5% and a take profit equal to 5%. For the sell position is exactly the same thing. I want that this content begins in the Bollinger Bonds area and ends outside the Bollinger Bonds area. If I have this, I will take a sell position with the same stop loss and take profit. So a stop loss at 1.5% and a take profit at 5%. As we can see, the backtest of this strategy is really quite good because over the period, we have a return of 600% because we have multiplied our capital by 5. And the maximum drawdown is around 13. So it means that we have a return over maximum drawdown ratio equal to 41, which is very, very high. It means that on this period, this strategy was very, very good. And we can check the monthly return of this strategy to see if the strategy was stable or not over the period. And as we can see, we have just three months with a big loss. And the other months are nearly all in green. It means that this strategy was stable over the period. And it's really a good thing because in my opinion, the best way to earn money in trading is the stability of the strategy because the first thing to do is to protect your capital to allow him to grow safe and not to trade using a lot of risk and put your capital in danger. That's it for this video, but if you want to go deeper into the algorithmic trading field and you want to know how to use Python to develop several trading strategies using machine learning, deep learning, time series analysis, 
technical analysis, price action, and manage your risk using risk and portfolio management technique. Put your strategy on live trading using MetaTotal 5. You can check my book, Python for Finance and Algorithmic Trading, with the link in the description. Now, let me give you some possible way to increase the profitability of this strategy. The first way that I see is to check about the volume, because we can see here, and we need to backtest to be sure, but that when the volume is very high, when we break the Bollinger Band, we don't have a very good signal. For example, here, okay, the volume increase and then we break the Bollinger Band, but after that, we don't have a very good trading signal. And here, the volume are relatively small, and then we break the Bollinger Band, but then the string retracement is really better. Then we can use some machine learning technique, like in my book, to take the Bollinger Band as features of an artificial intelligence algorithm to predict if we need to take a long position or a sell position. If you like the video, don't hesitate to like and subscribe, it's very essential for my SEO.